Hey guys, this is Big Ben here, Camping World with Gander RV. If you need to get away, let's say you need to get off grid, maybe you need to go away for a while, things happen, you know, there's rolling blackouts in different places, and you may have to get away and, and just have a place to be safe and be able to provide for yourself and your family. And so this big toy hauler, this XLR Boost, has everything you need to help you get away. So let's go through. So one of the things is right up here in the front, you have a spot for a generator. It's all prepped for a generator. Put it in there, it's a nice metal box. You put an exhaust on it. And typically on something like this, you want to do at least a 5,000 watt generator. Conan, or Cummings Onan are the most popular. There's a Yamaha and some of the other brands. But you put that in there and you're self-sufficient. You can run up to two air conditioners as long as you get enough watts, wattage. And you can run your refrigerator, keep your batteries charged. All those important things that you need to be self-sufficient off the grid. Hey guys, this is Big Ben here, Camping World and Gander RV again. Uh, continue on, I mean, on your off the grid machine here. Now you, you see behind me, you have a huge power awning. It's probably, I don't know, 12 feet long. But what that does, even though you're off the grid, you don't want to be out of the sun sometime, right? You want to be covered. You may want to do some cooking out here or whatever. You know, need some, just some little bit of coverage over your head. It makes it more pleasant and wherever you are, that's going to make a big difference. It's power, so it goes in and out. You get your power generator and solar panels are in the roof that will charge your battery too. You, all those things make it better because you don't want to be roughing it too bad even when you're off the grid. Hey guys, now we're in the inside of this XLR boost of this off the grid machine. Like I said, rolling blackouts, food charges, whatever. This thing can help you do it all. You have 41 feet of living space. So it's not small. You're not going to feel too cramped. You got your own private bedroom. You got your really nice kitchen with an island area, your stove, oven, or the stove and oven, and you also have the microwave, gas, electric, refrigerator. So let's say you run out of power. Once you get that started, all you need is a 12 volt source to get that gas generator going, or gas pump, whatever you want to call it, going in the refrigerator. Once it's going, it's going with the propane. So you can run out of power, it's still gonna go. Um, but then you also have tons of extra storage. So you want to get some of your dehydrated foods or whatever else, you have tons of space to store it including that loft up there. It's really a nice area that you can use it for sleeping, or, or you can use it for storage of larger foodstuffs and whatever else. We'll take a look at the next spot next. Hey guys, now we're at the end, the, the garage part of this XLR boost of your off-grid machine. So the, the rolling blackouts are happening, food shortages, whatever else, you're out there, you're just gonna survive. This machine is awesome because you have 41 feet, you have tons of extra sleeping. So you have the couch here that goes down to bed. You also have the pull-down bed right above there. And then you have all the space here for your like mini escape machines, your UTVs, motorcycles, uh, UTVs, anything and everything. You have a nice garage area with a rubber floor, tie downs, and you can put them in here, get them up quickly, use the ramp, or load them up quickly and get away. You also have tons of extra space here for your foodstuffs, things that are important. And you also have a hookup for your washer dryer right there. And so you can be self-sufficient. You have a second half bath, which is awesome because you could have a lot of people in here that you need to take care of. And you have extra bathrooms, sleeping, foodstuff storage, and all that stuff is important along with your party deck. Now, in this case, it may not be a party deck. It may be more of a watch over tower. So you can use that to watch over things and make sure somebody's not coming to get invade in your space. Maybe they ran out of food or something like that. Those are things you have to think about with your off the grid escape machine. Those are important things. So you can have your outlook right there, nice and easy to get to, but you still have your self-sufficient rig that you can load up quickly and get away if you need to also.